Alright, that was Amnesia, a machine for pigs. Uh, I'm, I know, I'm a bit late. I'm a f couple months late. I was fully intending to play this when it was out, when it was new. Uh, took a while to get the new computer set up to send a bad video card for me. But, here it is. It's done. Well, it took me two nights. I honestly am uh, not too happy about that. It, it, I don't like very two games to drag. Don't get me wrong, and I do prefer shorter games, but it just felt like out of nowhere, bam, okay, you're kind of at the ending. Uh, good things. Let's talk about the good things. The environments were great. I love the fact that they brought Amnesia outdoors, but it didn't feel like Amnesia to me. It just felt like a different first-person adventure game. Uh, there's zero backtracking like it. I've said that a lot. And that, I guess, is to cater more to the casual crowd. Were there too many complaints about like, getting lost in the first game? I I can see the first game being a bit disorientating. It was a large castle. There were multiple areas you had to go through. You had to find items, actual items. You had an inventory in that first one from different areas. And when I say areas, it would be a whole section. You remember this game had a loading screen for each area. The first one had those as well, but you could go back and forth between them. Once you went through one, that wasn't that. And I like that, actually. It felt like you're exploring more for yourself and not being led. Here's the way to go. It's not just find the path, the, the one path, and take it up until you find your, you know, the heart. I'm going to assume that was your child's heart. Uh... Monsters weren't scary. Uh, there, this game was not a scary game. I, I apologize to anyone that is scared. I mean, no disrespect. That I, I envy you. I wish I could be scared to that. Maybe I'm just too old now. Maybe I'm too desensitized. There are a couple jump scares in the very beginning because I wasn't sure what to expect out of this game. But once the game really revealed what it was to me, nothing could scare me. Uh, my phone going off. I, I don't know if you heard that or not. That scared me a lot more than the game itself. Uh, thank you for watching, though. As you've noticed, this channel's been kind of defunct for the past couple years now. Uh, it's probably going to stay that way. I'm not going to lie. I'm not going to start uploading a ton like I did when I first started. My equipment is much, much better. I am so happy with this quality. It just gets rough. I, I had to take a day off of work, actually, to do this, to finish this up. There, I just have a lot of roommates and... I'm not going to tell the whole house, hey, you guys can't talk or anything like that. Oh, I'm reading that real quick. That was just nonsense. There's a lot of potential. They, they could have done more in the environments, too. Uh, I mentioned, like, behind a gate, there could be a pig or, or, or some, anything. They, and they could have kept things subtle. In the first one, you had to do your own... You had to do really deranged shit yourself. You had to find a corpse. Get the blood from the corpse because the blood was infected. And then take that infected blood somewhere else, I, I think. I remember having to jam the needle into the corpse because that was when the greatest jump scare of that game happened. When the monster blew up that door. Uh, the monsters were no threat in this. I clearly just walked around them. That one part where I died twice, that was just me being stupid, honestly. I ran, I killed my own stamina before I even got to him. And then I, I just got lost because I forgot to pull out my lantern. Uh, that, that was another crap I have. It's This is 2013 now. Why can't we program the lamp to stay out? It you're, There's no reason for it to go away ever. It's has infinite oil. The, uh, if you remember, the first one had limited oil, so it would make sense in that game to put it away so that it's not needlessly burning it when you don't want it to. That, that would be the game being courteous. But in this, there's no reason for it to go away. There's no drawback to having it put a, or having it out, I should say. The monsters are going to find you no matter what. Yeah, hell, even with the lamp, I had to try and convince some of them to chase me. Like, one of the first times I saw them, he just kind of looked at me, took two steps, and was like, I'm a pig, I'm too worn out. Come over here, I'm hungry so I can eat you. You know? That... Mm. I don't want to sound like I'm griping too much on this. It was very enjoyable. If you find it on sale, I I want to say on Steam, like 75% off, honestly. 50% off at the most. It's still pretty expensive since it's new. I don't recommend any more than that. Uh, Steam Share is coming out soon. It's in its beta. Once that goes live, highly, highly recommend you play this for free. 
Uh, it's a fantastic free game, there's no doubt about that. Not worth the full retail that I paid. Uh, let's see, what else can I... I, I gotta talk more good stuff. I can't just keep droning on the things you heard me drone on about already. Mm. <laughs> I'm struggling. I liked... I liked the beginning. I really liked the beginning in that house. That was actually... That was kind of spooky how creepy your own character was. Because that was your house. I, I'm pretty sure that was your own house. And it looked like you were spying on everyone in the bathroom, you know... You had the one or the two-way mirror, just that kind of setup to let you know what kind of character you were before this. I like that a lot. Uh, you were a fucking bastard. There's no getting around it. All right, that's that's all I got. I'm rambling at this point. I'm really scraping the bottom of the barrel to say things I haven't said already. So I'm gonna stop this and.